Welcome to eGurukulam Classified. By this time, when you are watching this video, parts of Telangana, Maharashtra, UP, Delhi, Andhra Pradesh, etc. are experiencing heavy floods. In today's video, we will discuss about why floods occur and UPSC point of view in floods and other related disaster management activities. This topic is helpful in GS3 in agriculture and disaster management. Indian Floods India is highly vulnerable to floods. Out of the total geographical area of 329 million hectares, more than 40 million hectares flood prone. Floods are a recurrent phenomenon, which cause huge loss of lives and damage to livelihood systems, property, infrastructure, and public utilities. The average annual flood damage in the period from 1996 to 2005 was 4,745 crore rupees as compared to 1,805 crore rupees, the corresponding average for the previous 53 years. Causes of floods Common causes of flood can be divided into three factors. 1. Meteorological factors. 2. Physical factors. 3. Human factors. 1. Meteorological factors Heavy rainfall, cloud burst, cyclone, global warming, earthquakes, and landslides are attributed to meteorological factors. 2. Physical factors are Insufficient drainage management, catchment area. 3. Human factors A steep increase in population, rapid urbanization growing developmental encroaching tanks and canals, economic activities in floodplains coupled with global warming. Floods affects in an average every year. 75 lakh hectares of land is affected. 1600 lives are lost. The damage caused to crops, houses and public utilities is 1805 crores rupees. The maximum number of lives, 11,316, was lost in the year 1977. The frequency of major floods is more than once in five years. Unpredictability of floods Floods have also occurred in areas which were earlier not considered flood-prone. An effort has been made in these guidelines to cover the entire gamut of flood management. 80% of the precipitation takes place in the monsoon months from June to September. Why flooding gets worst? The rivers bring heavy sediment load from catchments. These, coupled with inadequate carrying capacity of rivers are responsible for causing floods, drainage congestion, and erosion of river banks. Cyclones, cyclonic circulations, and cloud bursts cause flash floods and lead to huge losses. Some of the rivers causing damage in India originate in neighboring countries, adding another complex dimension to the problem. India's Response to Floods National Disaster Management Authority's Executive Summary Guidelines have been prepared to enable the various implementing and stakeholder agencies to effectively address the critical areas for minimizing flood damage. Continuing and large-scale loss of lives and damage to public and private property due to floods indicate that we are still to develop an effective response to floods. What are the solutions for flood management in India? Structural measures are Storage reservoirs Embankments, diversions, and non structural measures are flood forecasting and warning, floodplain zoning, flood insurance, and flood awareness and education. What is the way forward? The entire suite of measures, structural and non structural, appropriate mix of grey, blue, and green infrastructure needs to be considered for flood management. Mindsets need changing flood flows should be seen as a resource to be conserved for subsequent use and water security. A river basin approach should be adopted for flood management while taking care of the environment. It is prudent we upgrade the hydro infrastructure in the country now so that the tools to manage increased variabilities are available in time. Hope this content helpful for your preparation and please provide us your valuable feedback. Keep watching eGurukulam Classified.